Okay, worship, think about this. Worship is more than music, by the way. Uh, we, when we think about planning a worship service, automatically we think, okay, music, what are my, what's my song list? But you need to get over that um, and, and understand that there's testimonies, there's um, prayer, there's the scripture, there's so many things that that have a part in a worship service. And we've gotten to this place, I don't know how we got there, but we, we automatically would say, let's have a time of worship. You think, let's have a time of singing. What songs are we going to sing? But, but worship, when you're planning your worship service, it's more than music. Music does not equal worship, and worship does not equal music, okay? Uh, coming together for a time of worship, yeah, worship should be happening all through the week, 24-7. You should be living a lifestyle of worship, at your, in your job, at your school, with your family, so that when you come together and offer up a song of praise, it comes from a heart of worship, and it's going to have much more meaning uh, if you've been living a life of a worshiper all through the week. Um, gosh, it's, it's just more than the songs we sing. So you need to really think about this. And again, I keep coming back to this, but think about this with your pastor. Think about what you can do, how you could program this into your service where you know somebody has had a miracle uh, healing in your church, have them come up and in the middle of a, of the worship songs with the songs, uh, just underscore it quietly with some music and have them uh, just give a two-minute testimony of what God has done in their life it, and then go into the next song. Uh, think about it like that, but worship is more than music, all right? 